Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. So the Kenosha kid put a canoe down the head of a known pedophile and was bailed out of jail by Ricky Schroeder from Silver Spoon's Lonesome Dove and the My Pillow guy. He was then seen with a Black Rifle Coffee Company t-shirt. Some nitwit put an affiliate code with that pic of him in the t-shirt. Black Rifle Coffee Company said, hey, we want nothing to do with that. Y'all went nuts. I did a video on it yesterday. Y'all had a good time. I had a good time. And then Matt Best himself called me. Let's talk about that. Hey, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you about the phone call with Black Rifle Coffee Company's Matt Best. I'm gonna get you up to date. Some new stuff has come out even today and this afternoon about it. So I'll get you up to date. I'll tell you my opinion. And I've got a question for all of y'all at the end. I do wanna hear your opinion. Today's video is brought to you by a brand new sponsor. Welcome to Everest.com. It's a multi-merchant marketplace where you can shop for shooting sports equipment, hunting and fishing stuff and all your outdoors gear. And if you join their Caliber program, you get free shipping on a boatload of products and access to their streaming service, Caliber Video, plus way too much more stuff to mention. Head over to Everest.com, check them out for yourself, save $30 on your Caliber membership with code Johnny B. Big thank you to Everest.com, new channel sponsor. So I'm gonna walk through, I've got two legal pads here. I'm going to walk through this as carefully as I can. I took pretty good notes today. I don't want to chase any rabbits, but I'm going to tell you why I think this matters. The great poet Alan Iverson said this. He said, we're talking about coffee on some level. Yeah, we're talking about coffee, but I think this issue is much bigger than this. It's certainly polarizing, and I do think it matters. To all of y'all who crushed thumbs up yesterday, I appreciate that. Every thumbs up matters. Those of y'all that felt my pain on being called, my new set being called Applebee's, thank you to that one brother who said, it's not Applebee's, it's Johnny B's. Welcome to Chili's. Surprise, surprise, y'all are making fun of me. It's okay, love y'all anyway. All right, let me talk to you a little bit about this. And I wanna be real careful here, I, but I, I'll say very clearly, we're not about cancel culture, we're not leftists, this is not who we are, we're not about never again will I ever drink Black Rifle coffee company. I let people do what they want to. It's a free country. Have any opinion, do whatever you want. But I do think some parts of this matter. Some of it doesn't. Some of it's just nonsense. But there's a few things, especially what I'm going to get to towards the end, I do think matters. And I'm leaving this with some questions today and because uh, there's some things I do want to hear more about. I suspect that Black Rifle Coffee Company and those guys are so into bro vet culture that they are now separated from regular two-way culture. There's some, of course, some overlaps, but bro vet stuff is its own world. God bless them, man. Go have fun, light off machine guns and eat red meat. All that stuff is great. I'm into all that stuff too, but I feel like my opinion is that Black Rifle Coffee Company over the last 36 hours has been a little surprised at what's gone on, and I think it's because they're that removed from regular two-way, the fight that we're in nonstop every day. And I think because of that, because they're so removed, that press release that they released over the weekend, what yesterday's video was about, I believe they, they pooped the bed on that one. I really do. I think they blew it with that first press release. And I don't think last night's press release was all that much better. Although I do see where they're coming from. So it's a mess. Let me walk you through this. So over the weekend, they did release that PR and the press release, and it was pretty tone deaf. Now, here's what we didn't know, but I did confirm this in the phone call, is that when that picture, and I'll put it up right here, that picture of uh, the Kenosha kid hit, the nitwit that posted that pic also posted an affiliate code trying to make money off of it. And that's, and I agree with this, that's where Black Rifle drew the line and they said, hey, this is not our doing. It's one of our reps that, yes, that is an affiliate code for us, so we did not do that. And their stance is, Black Rifle's stance is, we're not trying to profit off of this tragedy. And I think that's okay. Like, I'm okay. I can separate in my mind individuals versus corporations. An $80 million corporation like Black Rifle, they've got responsibilities to their shareholders. I, I don't know if they're public, but to their investors and to themselves and to all their employees, the entire machine, not to get involved with a bunch of nitwits, especially a nitwit that would post an affiliate code on this situation. So they made a press release. Now, how they did the press release, I agree with that. Hey, let's, let's not be a part of this. But what they did and the way that they did it, I was disappointed in. The actual press release, which I showed y'all yesterday, was, hey, we're about vets, 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 all about vets. That's who they are. But then they got to the one statement that was actually about the situation. They said, hey, we have no relationship with the Kenosha kid. 
and people lost their minds. It was tone deaf. I'm going to call it a tone deaf press release. I think they didn't even realize, they being Black Rifle, didn't even realize what this was really about. If their press release was to be about the affiliate code nitwit, they should have mentioned the affiliate code nitwit or said nothing. Now, something y'all don't know about me, most of y'all know nothing about my nine to five. I've done years of graduate work in PR. They didn't ask me my opinion, but my official opinion would have been to zip it. Just let it blow over for a couple days. As a corporation, get your ear to the ground on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then have something to say about it. But don't just say, hey, we've got no relationship, but we love vets and we love police. And there's nothing wrong with loving vets. And if you want to love police, have yourself a good time. That's not the point. The point is, I think it was tone deaf and they missed the entire message. Or their message, I think, was at least wrongly focused. And people lost their minds. So Matt Best hollered at me last night after that video hit. And a lot of people hollered at me. It was wild yesterday. I just said a lot of people. But they did. It was wild on my phone and texts and even on Instagram last night. It went on for almost six straight hours. A lot of people, a lot of people, even people with check marks by their name on Instagram hollered at me. But the one I want to mention to y'all is Matt Best. And people have today hollered and said, Johnny, what was it like? Give me the, give me the juicy. Nice guy. Speaks the same language I speak. Done a lot of good for a lot of people and is very much pro helping our veterans. And to that, huge thumbs up from me. Matt's also very polished. He is as media savvy as anyone you will ever meet. And I'm okay with that as well. Wasn't surprised by that at all. Genuinely nice guy. I would hang out with him tomorrow if I could hang off the back of an ATV like Crispy and light off a flamethrower and get buzzed up on caffeine. I'm in. And I think for me, and Matt said this, let me say this before I get distracted. He said, hey, we're not here to profit off this tragedy. Thumbs up from me. He also said, and he was very genuine this, we try our, and excuse the language, but his words were, we try, I try my damnedest to help folks. And if you look at their track record, they do. They're in process of hiring 10,000 veterans again Thumbs up from me. I go back repeatedly to that first press release. I think they pooped the bed. And I also think because of the bro culture thing, they are so removed that they were probably surprised at the reaction from me and from you. Again, my words are disappointed. All right, here's where it goes wild. And again, I can separate out corporations, individuals from corporations. I'm okay with that. But in this case, the faces of those folks, Evan and Matt and a few others, they are the face of the corporation. The founder, Evan, last night did a press release. Now, it was a verbal press release, an oral press release, but he did it in his kitchen. I guess it was his kitchen. He looked like deer in headlights. It was probably a long day for the guy. I felt bad for the guy. He again said that he is not here to profit off of tragedy. Now, again, and I, his press release, it was fine. It was totally fine, and I'm a total, total agreement with not getting into that affiliate code dude. Just, you know, kick that to the curb, erase it, Call that dude, email him, say, hey, delete that thing. I'm fine with all that. Now, here's where I get into having some problems and some questions. I'm going to end today with some questions. They said, Black Rifle, in that first, the very first press release, quote, we do not support legal advocacy for efforts. Legal advocacy efforts. We don't support that. But if you go to their Instagram, Black Rifles, and just scroll twice, two little scrolls, on August the 2nd, they got right in the middle of some legal advocacy efforts for a bro vet and maybe a terrible situation. If that guy needs help, I hope he gets the help he needs. Absolutely. That's not the point. But don't say in the press release, hey, we don't get involved, and then just two scrolls back, yeah, you're right in the middle of it, and you put your logo right on that post. So I see that, I'm like, ah, which way is it? Again, to quote Alan Iverson, we talking about coffee. It's really not about that. It comes down to who's really in this fight with us. Again, Black Rifle's done a lot more good than they have harm. I want to say that very clearly. There's a few more issues, and then I want to you know, ask you guys what you think. But it comes down to this. Well, let me say this. I, I think a lot of what today was about, and people had just spun, emails are rolling in, emails are rolling in. The internet does what the internet does. They did what they did, and they did some homework, and allegedly, it looks like maybe Evan also has donated cash to multiple Democrats, including the Obama campaign, Tulsi's campaign, 
Rhino, John McCain, and a couple others. And those have been coming in. Now, I've seen it. I know there are some. I've seen some screenshots where Evan has said, oh, all of those donation things were, were photoshopped. I have saw that. I saw, hey, that was photoshopped. But I've also been on the actual donation websites. I've seen it. I've clicked every single one of them. Again, it's a legend. Now, I want to know. Did the guy donate to Obama? I get it as a business, and if you're a businessman in a corporation, yeah, you need to be paying off at fundraising dinners and having good business on both sides of the aisle, but the name of the company is Black Rifle Coffee Company, and every single thing in your feed and everything that you're about is about the two-way community. I don't know who he donated to, but I'd love for him to talk about it. I really would. It matters. It matters. It matters. that We ain't talking about coffee now. If you are donating to, now I don't know about him, but anybody, if they donate to the enemy, we've got to have a conversation about that. You can't fund those that are trying to take our rights away from us. There's also some more stuff about companies that Black Rifle has been invested by and who is managing their wealth. There's some questions about that. There's questions about Sterling Partners. And then these organizations that only donated to, not Black Rifle, but some of these that they may be tied into, maybe donated all of their donations for last year or this year went to the Biden campaign. So it's a lot. Like there's all sorts of nuances in here. But I'm at the end of the day right here saying, why do you say you're not getting in legal stuff, but you're quite frankly in the middle of it? Why not deal with the affiliate guy and did the face and one of the owners of the company donate to the Obama campaign? That... I find dangerous. Again, I'd hang out with Matt tomorrow. Super cool dude. Super nice. I don't think, again, to be clear, this is not Stalin and Hitler. These guys have fought woke culture back when I wasn't even doing this. They stood up against Starbucks. They stood up against a lot, and they've done a lot, for, a lot of good for a lot of people. This is not the enemy, and I'm not into cancel culture. However, I'm left with some questions. I want to see how this whole donation thing turns out. It might have just been a fundraising. It might have been a golf tournament. Who knows what it was? I'd like to hear more about it. I think that is a fair question, especially when the name of your company is something that I hold very dear to what I believe. It's not a hobby. This is about our way of life and preserving this republic. I want to say this. Let me just end right there. I do want to say it is about preserving the republic. I had more notes in there, but I just want to say it is about preserving our way of life. Like just today, the, the media is finally talking about those the taxes that are going to go, go against us and these things. And I think this matters. Tomorrow, I want to talk about these in Biden's tax plan that's very much against us. That's why this matters. A lot of Instagram folks today were saying, y'all need to quit talking about coffee. And then a whole lot of celebrities came out and said, hey, we're with you, bro vets. And other bro vets said, bro vets united. I get that. I totally do. But again, third time, I'm left with questions to anyone that is against these. Our way of life, this republic, and what we stand for. Surrounded by a pile of hot brass from my cold, dead hands. Bye.